Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. So what I'm going to use here is the traditional Reader White Tarot cards and uh, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, <clears throat> I want to remind you uh, once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Libra star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level with uh, every single different Libra. And uh, also, um, I want to mention that uh, for the month of February, uh, I have uh, reduced all of the of all of the prices of the uh, of all of my services to make myself a little bit more accessible for those who really need especially uh, financial need so my point is if you until this moment uh, wanted to have a reading with me and uh, you found my uh, services rather inaccessible well now uh, have a look at my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, maybe this time around you're gonna find the pricing attractive. All right, so that set aside, cutting now the cards. And the first one that we do have for Libra, which is going to display the topic of your week, that is going to be the Nine of Wands. Followed by the second card here, which is uh, the negative approach toward the situation that you, can, uh, that you can take or you can make. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Third card that we do have, uh, it is the positive approach to all the situation and that is going to be the Knight of Wands. And the last one that we do have, it is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot according to your situation, which is given by these couple of cards here, okay? So the final one, should you follow the guidance is always a, a card of growth. And that is in your case, a five of pentacles. All right, so um, I will leave the cards for now down on my uh, desk. And uh, this is going to be as well enhanced tarot spread, which means that I'm going to draw additional cards per position. But just overall to say uh, what my impression is uh, from these four cards before we go deeper into each one of them is that uh, this week it's... Um, well, let's say that you are going to take the necessary measures to stabilize um, your environment and generally to tackle with a, uh, a certain predicaments which may not had yet, uh, which may not had yet ar arisen or risen or kind of like, you know, or in presence. So, uh, but they will start manifesting themselves as the week goes along so it's more like uh, yeah more like uh, making yourself prepared for what is to come so the first card that we do have for you which uh, we mentioned here uh, nine of wands it does regards to uh, your topic of the week and this card says that throughout this week you will really gather up a strength and uh, when the time comes for you to use that strength, uh, it's uh, simply you will uh, kind of be able, you know, to, as I said, overcome uh, difficulties. But what is important here with that strength which you are to gather is to be very calm and patient about it, okay? Only this way, you will be able, only if you proceed that way, you will be able to overcome the rapidly approaching storm. And that's why I said, that you may not have yet those um, those predicaments and worries, but they are to emerge throughout the week, and you have to gather up all the means that you the, uh, that you can in order to overcome them. Now, should you follow the guidance of tarot, I don't think that you are gonna face too big difficulties, you know, or too much hassle to overcome your issues. But if you are carefree and uh, disconcerned about the environment which is forming, well, then you can find yourself in a, a dead-end situation. But the other important thing with the Nine of uh, Wands is to um, 
kind of like analyze and uh, find out in what in what place in your environment, career, relationship, friendships, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you can actually uh, make a difference and start making those conscious changes there, uh, which are to allow you more control and as well um, more or and as well are going to make those situations or those environments more predictable, like uh, making conscious changes at your work. For example, if you can choose whom to work, whom to uh, whom to work with, yeah, then um, you shouldn't leave that choice to be made for you from the universe, for example, or from your boss. But you should choose it by yourself by cringing on your um, previous experience, if you will, and as well uh, relying on your. Um, relying on your keen mind, excuse me. But the bottom line here is, should you have the opportunity to alter something, you should not leave it um, to be altered for you because um, you have a chance here to, or, or kind of like you do have a choice here to choose in between either loss or sacrifice. Well, that is the best way I can explain it, really. Uh, it may not be that dramatic, all right? But uh, yeah, my point here is, is that uh, it is loss when the choice is made for you. When you make a choice, then that is a sacrifice. So you should not allow the things to go that far that instead of you have the right to make the sacrifice on your own terms, to allow the situation to unfold to a point where you can actually lose something. The, the additional card that we do have to the Nine of Wands, this is going to be uh, the Empress card. And the shade that the Empress card points the, uh, here in this, um, in this situation it is that it's way too late now to turn back and uh, you have to face the consequences of your previous uh, actions and decisions as well, which are not necessarily going to be uh, negative consequences, okay? Because the Empress adds that shade that one is to reap what they have sown, either good or bad. And uh, also you should not break the link in between you and the chain of events as well but instead the decision in the adaptation you need to do should happen or it's not adaptation, it's more like alignment that you have to do through those conscious changes should happen on fly um, as you are involved with all the deeds, with all of your projects, with all of the enterprises into your relationship and so on and so forth. Now, with the Empress there, uh, maybe uh, the whole process is going to be a little bit discomfortable to you. You may feel that discomfort that you will have to rearrange your environment here and there, uh, but you will very quick, quickly learn how to get to use with it or you're going to get the hang of it. So the second card that we do have uh, for you, Libras, this is the Two of Pentacles, and that was the, the card expressing what you should not do. And um, basically what this card points uh, in this case is a lack of consistency and trying to manage way too much things at once and as well not recognizing the pattern of the events, but instead hoping that the your luck and the chance is going to help you through it or they are going to basically resolve the issues for you. Now this card points that you have to create for yourself a rather solid plan uh, instead of uh, managing the deeds or the activities or in general the new things which are being thrown to you um, <clears throat> from daily routine or from the universe and you have to be consistent as well okay so it's kind of like placing your priorities right and taking one thing after another instead of trying to trying excuse me to juggle with multiple things at once because you're gonna have let, let's put it that way you're gonna have many balls at your platter to play with but you gotta play with one ball at the time if you try to play with a couple of balls or with three or, or with three of them 
then uh, you're going to basically let them fall at the ground and this is the point of no return so for that reason uh, my point here guys liberals is that you shouldn't rush it regardless of how uh, big emergency or how big sense of emergency the situation ignites within you uh, you would rather have to persevere through your patience just like i said because that is the only way how you can overcome the rapidly approaching storm the uh, card that that adds shade to the two of pentacles that is the ten of pentacles and uh, basically you may be uh, provoked to do too many things at once here it is what the ten of pentacles points uh, but you need to maintain your personal independence and do the things your way that is also important thing and as well with the ten of pentacles your investments should go just only in one place not at many but at one place so if you decide for example that this uh, week is you are going to invest fully into your career that is where you will have to go if you decide to invest fully into your relationship then this is what you're going to invest but investing in the both places for example and neither of them you're going to reach the satisfiable results at least according um, to these cards uh, now, the next card that we do have that is going to be the positive approach toward the situation, and that was the Knight of Wands. So, uh, as I said, the, you, this, the whole process of alignment here, where you are going to make those conscious changes, is going to create a little bit of a sense of discomfort in you. The um, Knights of Wands urges you to be very energetic and enthusiastic when you jump into your priority, okay? Not priorities, but priority, just like I said that you have to place them one after another and attend to one by one, one at a time, excuse me, instead of um, managing couple or even three, thi three thi things, uh, things and... Uh, responsibilities at once so you gotta be an energetic and enthusiastic and as well the knights of wands urges you to um, have the sense of taking risks all right so uh, it will be beneficial for you to play risky throughout the week at least this is what the card points and as well uh, the card is urges 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 us you not to um, bail not neb not bail but uh, kind of like push back a helping hand people uh, there will be people there which will try to lay uh, to lend you a hand or to give you a helping hand and uh, maybe at that time you may uh, have the mindset that you that you don't need any help or you're way too proud to take any help regardless guys this card urges you not to uh, not to deny anybody who wants to help you because uh, the whole point is that they are, they will want to help you uh, because, well, their help will be supported with pure inten intentions. Additionally to that, the, the uh, Knights of Wands urges you to explore multiple uh, varieties of how one thing can be resolved. Uh, it urges you to think that maybe your initial idea of how to resolve a certain plight or predicament, you know, or how to approach a, a, a task or responsibility may not be the ideal idea, okay, or may not be the ideal mindset. And here comes as well the uh, standpoint where you should be a little bit more patient with yourself, especially. So uh, you give yourself a a bit of a time like a couple of hours or maybe even a day uh, to think about which is going to be the ideal approach you can take toward either your relationship or toward either your career the additional card here which adds a shade to the knight of wands where we do have the seven of cups and that is a, a very good shade we do have an active enemies and uh, basically what these this combo um points is that everything which you are to attend to throughout the week uh, will be pretty much with a, a real possibility. So rather like it will have a manifestable results, 
rather than having uh, how, did you have that feeling that when you invest into a, something either with efforts or either with time and so on and so on, or even with money it kind of like you have a feeling that you may not have a returns from it well this time around with this combo the returns are going to harm, uh, are going to come basically wherever you place your investments at either time emotions or um money as well or even performance uh they will bring you benefits from it simply you will know what you are working for or what are you uh, or what you are about to mess with that is the point of uh, these cards and with such a clear mind uh it will be easy for you to reassess uh, to reassess your uh, the situation itself and um, basically to find a better approach should you find that your current approach is not the ideal one and the last card that we do have for you libra this is the card of growth or the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot so with the five of pentacles we are having you here facing those plights and predicaments with a, a helping hand you are you are going to find out that you are not alone with your in your difficult endeavors and with this cumulative efforts or rather like with that cooperation uh, it, it will be much more easier for you to consolidate the positions into your career to uh, as well achieve uh, how can I place it achieve um, stability into your relationship as well it's not a more like a, a stability but in my language we do have a different word for that it's more like becoming aware that your fears have been in vain for example if you had fear that your partner is about to leave you should you follow these steps then uh, the situation will, will become pretty much clear to you and you no longer are gonna have any fears and as well you will know how to basically work or what are going to be the right uh, efforts to place in so you can have the the unfoldment of the situation benefiting you at the end the point, uh, um, the point here with the five of uh, pentacles, guys, is that you will be for uh, you will be prepared for the difficulties which are to arise on many fronts. And with the two of wands as additional shade to the five of pentacles, uh, what we do have is that this specific time or that outcome is gonna make you grow in the sense of that you will become aware how much more you worth for or how much more you can achieve okay or how strong you are because if you think you are strong right now well, well just wait a couple of days or maybe one week until this uh, predicaments are starting to pop up and you're gonna find out that you are much stronger than you think you are uh, you may find out that you are much stronger on your own you may find out that you are much stronger um making a stand or even developing a a certain skills because the two of wands is uh mainly points to that that you will proceed on further uh developing a, a certain skills particularly particularly related to a crisis managing like for example communication if that crisis is about your relationship it could be as well communication if it is about your career but in career as well it could be uh, where you're going to develop your professional skills as well basically you're going to grow big time and that growth will be through managing a, a crisis because you have prepared yourself for it throughout the week february 11th to february 17th 2019 so that was uh, the uh, general tarot reading for libras uh, for libra star sign excuse me and i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again for the month of february all of the services have uh, are with reduced price prices big time so if you found until this very moment that uh, my services are inaccessible to your budget well have a look right now in my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and maybe you're gonna find the new prices for the month of february attractive so rat signing out now see you next time bye